Alright, so you have all of your parts laid out. Now we're ready to uh, start getting ready to send it over to the laser engraver. Um, so, this is a slightly confusing process, so just watch this video carefully, pay attention to the directions, and everything will go just fine. So, uh, we're going to head up to the A, and we're going to slide down to Print. And automatically this print dialog box comes up. And we've already selected the Shikari School uh, Epilog Zing. Currently our paper size is set to ANSI A, 8.5 by 11 inch, which we're going to have to set again later on. Um, we're set to print a one-to-one -one scale. And we're also set up so that this is the area that we're going to be printing within. All right, so none of that stuff you need to change. Um, what you're going to head to is properties. And within properties, we're going to go to custom properties. And then we have this box here. So um, vector is just uh, Epilogue's way of saying the cut line. Okay, so these are vector settings. So uh, if you look at 8C, it tells us that our vector settings, our speed should be set to 100, which it is. Our power should be set to 50, which we can bring up there. And then our frequency should be set to 500, okay? So I'm gonna click OK. And I'm gonna click OK again. And then we have this uh, changes to printer configuration. We're gonna say apply changes to current plot only. So we're gonna say OK. And notice that that changed our sheet size. It's just a function of the program. So we need to go back to paper size and we need to slide down and find ANSI A. <clears throat> Not to be confused with Arc A, okay, but A N S I A, which is an eight and a half by eleven, just a typical sheet. We're gonna hit apply to layout, and then we're gonna wait. Um, you're gonna at this point talk to Miss Roman or Mr. Ashline uh, uh, for and ask when it's your turn to print. When it is your turn, you're gonna hit OK, and that is gonna get sent to the printer. Don't hit OK until uh, you have been told that it is your turn to print. And then um, ask your teacher if you can go next door and run the laser.